Hello farmers and welcome back to your number one organic poultry YouTube channel. We all know that calcium is very important for the layer chickens. But did you know that the eggshells contain 90% of calcium? Also, did you know that a laying hen needs 4% of calcium from the feed that it eats daily? In this video, I will share with you organic sources of calcium to your layer chicken, the reasons as to why you should supplement your layer chicken with calcium. Also, I'll tell you the roles that calcium plays in the bodies of the layer chicken. And most importantly, I will tell you how to identify that your chickens are suffering from either deficiency or excess calcium. But before we get into this video, kindly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time that we post a new video. Also, if you get value from our videos, make sure that you hit that like button and also share this video to your fellow farmers so that you can help them to get this important information. The major question is why should we supplement our layer chickens with calcium while this calcium is usually added in their feeds? And the first thing is about the age. You see, when there is any deficiencies of calcium in the diet, the layer chicken usually go for the calcium that is stored in the bones. And therefore, as age kicks in, these utilization of calcium that is from the bone brings about problems that can affect you know the health of the chicken the second thing is about the diet the diet could have some insufficiencies and this is why we urge farmers to buy even the feed from reputable companies the other thing is about the rate of laying regular laying birds that is a, a birds that are able to lay an egg after every 24 to 26 hours will usually need to be supplemented with calcium. Also, in case of diseases and digestive health problems, these usually affect the absorption and utilization of calcium in the layer chicken, which brings deficiency. And this is now going to bring problems in terms of egg production. Something that you, you are supposed to note here is that this calcium that we are supplementing to them, we are not adding into the feeds or in water. We are providing it in a different container where they can be able to take it at free choice. Another question is, why is calcium important in the layer chicken? And number one is that it helps in muscle contraction. And when we say muscle contraction, we are talking about the muscles that helps the egg to be moved in the reproductive system of the chicken until it is laid and therefore those muscles that push this egg during the laying process require calcium another thing is about hormone production the hormones that are used in the egg laying process and also in the egg making process in the reproductive system usually require calcium also calcium helps in the production of high quality eggs and this is usually needed in the breeder chicken in the breeder chicken you need to have eggs that are of high quality because the higher the quality of the egg then this increases the hatchability rates the other thing is about calcium is needed for absorption and utilization of other nutrients, for example, phosphorus. Phosphorus and calcium, their utilization in the chicken body is interdependent. And when one level is affected, it affects the other. The other thing is uh, calcium helps in movement of the heart muscles and also in the nervous system functioning. Another thing to note is that for optimum or proper calcium absorption and utilization, there must be phosphorus and vitamin D. Fortunately, phosphorus is usually found in, in the grains, and these grains are used in, the, in making the chicken feed. Therefore, there might not be a need to supplement the phosphorus, but for vitamin D, you have to supplement your chickens, especially when you provide the supplementary calcium. And this is one way of 
improving how this calcium that we are supplementing is going now to be utilized by the chicken. And this vitamin D can be supplemented to the chicken via two ways. And number one is to ex by exposing your layers to the sunlight because the skin is usually capable of synthesizing vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. Also, you can organically supplement your chickens by giving them broccoli. And to watch a whole video where I discussed about the organic multivitamin supplements, Kendry, hit the video that should pop up on your right hand corner of this video. Before I give you the organic calcium supplements, how do you detect that you are rare chicken are suffering from calcium deficiency and number one you are going to note that they are going to lay thin soft easily breaking eggshells number two you are going to see bone deformations or what we call the rickets which may cause lameness another thing is you are going to see shell less eggs these are the eggs that are red but they are not covered with the eggshells. They are only covered by a thin membrane. You're also going to note egg eating and also egg binding. Egg binding is a deformity where the egg is stuck in the reproductive tract of the rare chicken. Because as we have said, calcium usually helps in moving the egg until it is laid. Some of the organic sources that you can supplement to your layer buds. And remember, you are going to present this organic sources or these organic sources of calcium on a separate container for the birds to feed at their own free choice number one is the oyster shells oyster shells usually contain 36 to 38 percent calcium and this is the recommended one because of the high amount of calcium the oyster shells should be grinded at an, um, a size of four millimeters that is for the adult layers and another thing that makes oyster shells to be recommended is that the particles usually get into the gizzard and then during digestion, these particles that are held in the gizzard, they usually release calcium for a longer period of time. The second one is limestone and limestone is a cheap source of calcium. But one thing is that it is usually passed through the digestive system first and it does not provide calcium to the chicken for a longer period as compared to oyster shells. The other one is the eggshell. The eggshells should be dried then grinded into powder form before now being supplemented to your layer chicken. Number four is the bone meal. A bone meal is a good source of both calcium and phosphorus and this makes a perfect combination to ensure that there is optimum utilization of calcium when supplemented to chicken because we have said phosphorus and calcium levels in the body and their utilization is interdependent now how can you be able to detect excess calcium in the layer chicken number one is that you're going to observe bumps on the eggshells or the eggshells will be rough and this is one way where the chicken is trying to dispose of the excess calcium by making deposits of this calcium onto the eggshells. The second thing is that you're going to find calcification of the kidney and also the liver. And this is where the calcium stones accumulate in the kidney and the liver. And this is usually identifiable at post-mortem. As you make these supplements to give to your layer chicken, I also recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the best supplements for your molting layer chicken.